<laughs> so it's been <laughs> spark. Yes. You guys wow. are the fun bunch, I can already tell. Okay. Yeah. You know. That's right. A little punchy. <laughs> yeah. Second part of the day. That's right, that's right. So it's been fourteen years since the original, um, and you all have done amazing things since then and, and expanding your careers, adventures, things of that nature. What was it like to tap back into a previous role that you you know, long gone, had uh, moved on from. I think the great thing about this, even though they're the same characters, they are almost like different characters mm -hmm. because they really have grown so much and they're at different points in their lives. Mm -hmm. So Malcolm did a great job of, you know, really charting each and every individual unique character and taking him 15 years. And it's almost like it is a rebirth. The, it's a rebirth, and it's 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 doing a, a totally different movie. We're not thinking, oh, we watched the movie before. We watched the first one before we started shooting, but other than that, you're not mm -hmm. thinking about what wow. we did in the first. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I definitely wasn't. Yeah, mm -hmm. a completely different new new movie. Yeah, and 15 years is a long time. Like think about your life. Yeah. 15 years ago, yeah. you're probably a completely different mm, person. Were second grade. <laughs> I mean, I was only 10, so I can. Yeah. You probably weren't even born. <laughs> but the truth is, is when you think about the the cycle of life and how, as especially I think for for women, because we tend to stop and think about who do I want to be 10 years from now, and who was I before, and what have I learned? I mean, we, we kind of. Oper at least I do, operate yeah. that way. Yeah. And so you think about the relationships, you think about, because we're on a time clock, marriage, mm -hmm. kids, mm -hmm. you know, getting married, like all of these things that society says we're supposed it's to supposed do to matter, right. and that are supposed to matter. So we're, we're definitely more timekeepers than, and, and aware of sort of where we are mm -hmm. on that life plan. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and mm -hmm. you tap well into said. that a little bit with your uh, character, Jordan. Um, how? What, what is it like to balance work and life like that? You know, Jordan's so into her career and, you know, is trying to make time for love and all that. What, what was that like? Well, I think it's by... It's tough for women, huh? It is tough for women. <coughs> and I think mm -hmm. that women who are extremely um, driven mm -hmm. to success, ambitious. ambitious, I think they get to a point in their lives and they're like, uh-oh, I'm, you know, 30-something years old mm -hmm. and I don't have a husband and I don't have children yet. And what does that mean? And I think what it means is stay on your course because it's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. Right. But also you have to have an open heart to be vulnerable to accept it when it does come. Because I think the more success you have as a woman, you kind of go, well, I don't really need a man because, look, I have everything I mm -hmm. want. But the truth is, is you do need a partner because at some point in your life, you're not going to want to walk alone. That's right. But it doesn't happen for everyone at the same time, mm -hmm. so you can't compare your life to someone else's. Gotcha. That's right. right. <laughs> so now, uh, uh, Malcolm said something about you complaining mm -hmm. about a sweaty belly yes. and all the ladies taking too long to get dressed <laughs> and get ready. Oh, yeah. Explain that. <laughs> sweaty belly. That's not good. <laughs> you explain your <laughs> sweaty <laughs> belly. That sounds very fresh. No, the nine months pregnant, they, they created a, a prosthetic belly, and it was very heavy. And it was very hot. Is it prosthetic? Prosthetic. Or pros pros prosthetic. What That's is what it? I said. Prosthetic. I'm asking. Prosthetic. Prosthetic. So um, there was like a layer between well, no the, the prosthetic and my skin oh. that was like oh. I was in a sauna every day, oh. all day. And these, this guy. And that girl and all of the other castmates would punch me yeah. in that belly. Face it off. Exactly. And they oh. got a sick, a sick oh, pleasure out of it. That ain't right. That ain't right. It's so that. not right.